What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little update on my 2017 and 2018 draft classes. Just talk about a few of the updates that I've done as well as showcase some of the new guys I've added because since the last update video I did, I've added a lot of new players. You guys would know about that if you're following me on Twitter because I can update you guys a lot faster and quicker on Twitter and Instagram when I add guys to the draft class but um, since my last video a lot of guys have been added so I'm going to go over those so you guys will be up to date with the draft class but before I do that I want to say a huge thank you for 1 million downloads on the 2017 draft class even though I've been doing this for three years and every single year the downloads have just been insane it still blows my mind how many downloads um, these draft classes get so I really want to thank you guys a lot for that also the 2018 draft class as almost at a hundred thousand downloads that's always significantly lower than the 2017 draft class just because not as many people use the 2018 one but if you guys are in your second year of my league or my GM make sure to download the 2018 class a lot of cool prospects in there a lot of new guys that I just added that I think you guys will enjoy playing with um, but we'll go ahead and jump into the new players that I've added to the draft class I believe the 2018 class now has 42 players in it so it's it's filling out and then the 2017 class I think has about 65 or so I, I could be wrong about that it's somewhere over 60 um, and I also have a spreadsheet if you guys want to go see I'll put the link in the description I'll talk about that in a second um, but first off let's go over the new players that have been added to the draft class um, I believe since the last time I made a video uh, I think Marcus Lee may have been in there but I think we'll start about right here so Trey Young was added to the draft class it was actually pretty funny um, I hadn't added him in and he actually DM'd me on Twitter and was like hey man are you gonna add me to the draft class I was like oh, okay I'll add you to the draft class so I went in I made him I think he turned out pretty well he was appreciative of that so that was pretty cool I think that's the first time I've actually had a player um, reach out to me and tell me to create him in the game so I thought that was pretty cool shout out to Trey Young a top recruit um, he's uncommitted right now also Joe Barry from North Carolina has been added to the draft class he's been having a great year he's just a really really solid guard um, and you know I mean he's tough he's his draft stock is not super high right now I think he's projected late second round um, to undrafted but I went ahead and added him in Malik Newman you guys know about him didn't have a great first year at Mississippi State transferred to Kansas not playing this year he's in the 2018 draft class um, as well now he was a top recruit coming out of high school Luke Kennard I added him in he's been having an unbelievable season at Duke um, projected right now I think somewhere in the middle of the first round draft express has him in the middle of the first round in the 2018 class um, he's been having an unbelievable season really much improved from last year Robert Williams his draft stock has just soared recently he's up there middle to top of the first round right now um, so I made sure I got him in there from Texas A&M uh, definitely a very very good player I added him to the 2017 draft class. TJ Leaf, I couldn't decide if I was going 2017 or 2018 for him. I decided to put him in the 2017 class. Um, a lot of you guys were asking about that. Having a really, really good freshman year at UCLA. Not many people expected him to be such an impact player, but he's really been um, a big surprise and has been a great player in his draft stock. Has risen quite a bit. Juwan Evans from Oklahoma State. He's projected late first round. Most places I've seen early second round. Um, he's been having a great year as well. He is in the 2017 draft class. Justin Patton. I know a lot of people on Twitter, um, Creighton fans, were asking me to add Justin Patton to the draft class. He's been added in. Um, he's in my 2017 class as well. I think might be 2018. I think it's 2018. It could be 2018. I don't have it in front of me right now, but um, if you guys go check out the spreadsheet, which I'll link in the description, you guys can see which guys are in which class and their ratings and stuff like that. Here's a big one right here. I went ahead, I added Leangelo Ball to the class simply because of the amount of requests I got for him. I know so many of you guys were asking for him, um, which is understandable. Obviously, the Ball brothers are uh, very, very popular, um, mainly because of all the internet exposure they've gotten obviously their high school team was extremely successful and still is extremely successful um, Leangelo is not a very highly rated recruit I believe he's a three star maybe even a two star um, so really not expecting him to get drafted definitely will not be a one and done um, 
unless his draft stock just somehow increases a lot. He doesn't really fit in the NBA right now. I could be wrong. I'm not hating on him. Just right now, he's not really on the draft radar. But I went ahead and added him in there simply because um, so many of you guys were requesting him. These guys I just added in the other day, Zach Collins, he was added to my 2018 draft class from Gonzaga. There were no Gonzaga players in the draft class, even though they're the only undefeated team left in the country. Um, but Zach Collins, I noticed I, I'm still kind of getting some guys in there that have just recently gotten on the mock draft. So he's projected relatively early um, here pretty soon. I don't know if he'll come out this year. Um, since it's only his first year but even if he doesn't he'll he'll be a boss next year and uh, his draft stock is pretty high so he's in the 2018 class gary trent jr another guy not on too many mock drafts right now um a very very highly rated recruit committed to duke uh he actually retweeted the creation the screenshot i put on him um, or I put on Twitter the other day of him in 2k and I thought that was pretty cool He seemed to think it was pretty awesome, but uh, he's definitely a highly rated recruit not on too many mock drafts You wonder how his game will translate to the NBA not a super explosive athlete, but he can definitely score um, But we'll have to see about that. So I added him in there Mitchell Robinson I believe he's number nine on ESPN 100 right now. He's committed to Western Kentucky added him in there um, a lot of people on Twitter were happy about that, which I thought was a little surprising. The Western Kentucky fan base definitely uh, happy to see Mitchell Robinson in 2K. PJ Dozier from South Carolina. Uh, I added him in there. He's projected kind of middle to the end of the first round here pretty soon. Um, definitely a very talented and athletic uh, player from South Carolina. And then just today, I added in Kobe Simmons from Arizona. This was another guy that tons of you guys wanted to see in the game um right now i think he's kind of late first early second round projection uh he's only a freshman as well so he has time to develop um but definitely a solid player a big time recruit at a high school and it'll be interesting to see um him continue to improve and i could definitely see his draft stock skyrocketing here uh pretty soon i don't know if he'll be a one and done even if he's not though uh, he'll definitely be a solid player sometime down the line. So those are the new players that were added to my draft classes recently. As far as other updates, I'm not going to go into great detail on them because uh, there are just so many of them, just small changes with accessories, with the ratings, hairstyles, all that stuff. Um, but you guys will see those if you download the newest versions of the draft classes. Also, uh, you can download a roster. I've talked about this a little bit. I have this roster right here um, that has all of my prospects from both classes. I haven't changed the name to 2017 and 2018 yet, uh, but that has all of my prospects in the free agent pool. So you can go in there, you can add players to teams, you can use them for college rosters, you can use them to just play within quick games if you don't really wanna start a my league, but you wanna play with these guys. Definitely go check that out. Um, highly, highly recommend it. I don't think I did a very good job of letting a lot of people know about this. Um, so there could be people out there that would like this, but they just don't know it's out. Um, so if you guys were, would be interested in this, definitely go check it out. Also, uh, like I said with my spreadsheet, definitely stay updated with that. I don't make these update videos very, very often um, just because they're not 100% necessary with all of the other ways I can update you guys really, really quickly. And I don't always have a lot of time to sit down and make a YouTube video about it. But you can follow my spreadsheet that's updated um, every single time there's an update, I update the spreadsheet. So you can follow which guys are in the draft class, which guys were added. You can follow the ratings changes and stuff like that. And that'll help you out if you're also trying to, uh, you know, make changes to my class or making it as your own class, or maybe you're on Xbox and you want to copy my class. That'll help you out. So definitely go check that out. I think that's all I have for you guys. Once again, thank you so much for 1 million downloads on the 2017 class. Glad to see you guys have been enjoying it. Make sure you go follow me on Twitter and Instagram to keep up with all the updates and just interact with me if you have any questions. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys later.